Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning into our post show today. We do this every single Sunday right after the second service. Basically all we do is we take what the message we just heard and the entire service as a whole and we just break it down more and figure out ways that we can apply this into our lives. Today I'm with a lovely group of people. This is Layla, that is Lexi over there, and then this is Tanner. We kidnapped Tanner from Virginia and forced him to be on the post show today. No, just kidding. Tanner went off to his master's program at Liberty. Yep. And you can explain it better than I can, so I'll let you uh, take over now. Yeah, so <laughs> I am uh, doing my master's in athletic training at Liberty University. Uh, I was an intern here before then uh, and sadly had to leave to go to find a, my new place there, but uh, I'm very much enjoying the program down there. Not awesome. only was he an intern here, he's been at this church for like ever. Ever. Forever. Yep. Yeah. Uh, since, well, I don't know, 2011. So, so like 12 plus years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So some of you that have been around for a minute probably recognize his face. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So whenever he told us he was going to be in town, we were like, oh, we got to get him on the post show. <laughs> so we dragged him on here. If he never comes back. Then we got rid of him. I, no, didn't, I didn't know that you were <laughs> going to be on the post show today. That was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. I, I kept it on the down though. <laughs> yes, down clearly. Low. Yeah. Because I found awesome. out like 30 minutes before <laughs> awesome. getting here. All right, I got a question before we dive into these other questions. Who enjoyed the sunshine this week? Because I sure um, did, because it yeah. was great. It's blowing my mind that it hasn't really snowed I much. Know. This El Nino is and crazy. I, I don't know that we're going to have a white Christmas. I doesn't, right now, it, it doesn't, doesn't look, look like, like it. it. It looks like it's yeah. just going to rain and be like yeah. 50. Which is kind of sad. That makes me very sad. Yeah. Yeah. I was a little I, sad not to see snow. I know Josh isn't sad. <laughs> Guys, about how we he got to watch snow. Some show. <laughs> we, we all know how he feels about <laughs> yeah. that. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it was sunny like the whole day. Like, yeah. come on now, you can't beat that. Yeah. I was walking yes, you around can. in it's the park snowing. on Friday it's in my It's called a white short. Christmas. <laughs> I know. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Definitely aren't from Michigan. I am not from Michigan. <laughs> I was not in shorts. <laughs> I bought. I when I moved here, I had like two pairs of pants, so now I have like six because I have to buy more pants. That's kind You're of growing. Good <laughs> job. That's how I only wore pants on Sunday because uh, it's the only time you need to wear pants because it's warm year round. Yeah, you so. do need to wear pants on Sundays. Yeah. Yeah. So I wore pants on Sundays, but that, I never wore pants. Pants are good. So. Pants are good. So I wore shorts, so I did wear. I did wear some form of pants. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, let's just go ahead and move on. Anyways. Hard transition. All righty, first question. What stood out to you in today's message? From Dave, who's back, by the way. Dave, we're so glad that you feel better. Mm -hmm. um, we missed you so much last week. So, Oh, I'm looking through my notes. There's This was a really good message today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to find the part that I want to highlight because I don't want to say it um, incorrectly, but I think... It was something along the lines of like um, how we bless others mm. to like our yeah. obedience is blessing others. I think yeah. is how yeah. Dave framed it. And I was like, oh, uh, you know, sometimes when he says things and it's like the zingers of like, oh, I never thought of it that way. Um, so that's the first thing that comes to mind to me. But there's so much with this that I enjoyed. Yeah. But I love whenever he was talking about the story. And Luke with the, the fishermen and how he's like one of the things we always mm. think about is like oh man look at what God did for Peter and for the people that were right there but we don't think about like all that fish was able to help so many families that were involved in the business yeah. so I thought that was a really cool ad that I just had never thought of before mm -hmm. so so God is really cool and uh he is really cool. like telling mm. telling you what you need to hear when when you need mm. to hear it yeah and this message today was exactly what I needed in mm. so many ways and yeah. Even before like going in and listening and knowing what the message was going to be about, I had so many conversations with people in our lobby today about just God hitting me with so many truth bombs this mm. week and just spiritually battling so much mentally mm. um, and just ways in which I am not obeying God. Like I hear him, I'm listening to him, but I'm not acting on it Yeah. in a lot of areas in my life. And so I was telling people like I, I need to start – basically obeying God and listening to him. And, and then I go into the service and I'm like, gosh, <laughs> like, like, yep. God, God's telling me right now. Like, like he's just talking directly to you. Yeah, that's what it felt like. I was like, I was sitting there like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Sweating <laughs> that's exactly what I needed. So my, I don't know if this is like my favorite part of the message, but just what hit me the most was his wrap up with just stop delaying mm. obedience. Mm. Just yeah. don't, don't start tomorrow. Start right now. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm going to. 
Yay! Yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, it was the when Dave said we shouldn't uh, confuse faithfulness for favor when he was talking, mm. or blessing. And so I think that was a really interesting highlight with the Israelites through, uh, in that mm-hmm. story. I thought painted a very good picture of that for yeah. That they could have had so much more yeah. if they were faithful and obedient to God through yeah. that favor. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, I think that mine, the thing that stood out to me the most, um, was whenever Dave gave like the three things about the obedience. So the first one he gave was like the other people were blessed by the obedience yeah. to the fishermen. But then the second one that really stood out to me, and the third one actually, I'm, I'm just going to say both. Um, some acts of obedience are harder than others, mm-hmm. for sure. We, we experience that. Sometimes it's like, hey... Um, like I remember like being a kid, my mom was like, I need you to go empty the dishwasher. That's easy. But mom's like, I need you to go mow the lawn. Mom, it's like 95 degrees outside. Like <laughs> that act of obedience is a lot harder than the other one. Um, and whenever God tells us certain things to do that, I mean, that definitely shows itself. Um, but the other one I think is something that I so easily do. And that's never underestimate the power of a single yeah. act of obedience. Mm-hmm. I were, like, there's been so many times where it's like, Oh my gosh, this is so minuscule. Why am I even doing this? And yeah. just seeing how God through that one small act, yeah. blessed so many mm-hmm. so that is definitely what stood out to me in today's message yeah. so does anybody have anything else that they want to add before we move on to a little little fun activity where we're going to get your involvement people that are watching oh really Ooh. yeah we haven't done that before i know we're trying some new things yeah. we're getting spicy here at the end of the year <laughs> yeah i do have one thing to add yeah. just on you pointing out that last one never underestimate the power of a, a simple yeah. act of obedience mm-hmm. like i said i've been battling this week in particular with just a lot spiritually and so I feel like I'm doing a crap job at showing up Mm. and obeying God and what he wants me to do in my life and I show up to church this morning just feeling kind of like and one of the first interactions I have um, a lady came up to me and was like you know Lexi you just you radiate Holy Spirit all Mm. the time just like every time I see you, you just radiate him and it just, it pours out of you. And I almost started crying by that because in that simple compliment, which honestly might be one of the best compliments I've ever received in my life. Like it just reminded me that even when we don't, that's like the song, like even when you don't feel it, even when you don't Mm -hmm. see it, Mm -hmm. God is always working in us and he's using us. And that was, that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's really awesome. That's a great compliment. That was, yeah. 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 Awesome. Thank you for sharing. But that. Yeah, yeah, just like little, cool. like showing, go, going to church when there's like a thousand things on my mind right now, and so many things I could could be doing yeah. and easily brush it off. Showing up and yeah, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. little things. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. All right, like I said, we're getting your interaction, people that are watching. Yeah. So we're all going to do this ourselves. And then at the very end, before we wrap up the post show, um, if anybody submitted anything, we're going to share what you said to this question. What are three ways that you have seen God bless you in 2023? So if you're watching live, Mm -hmm. you can go to the the chat. We got a computer pulled up right here. And just you can put, it doesn't even have to be three. If you just want to put one, put one. But we want to participate and hear the ways that God has blessed you because we want to be able to celebrate those blessings right here on the post show. So again, we'll hit those um, at the end. So would anybody like to go first? I know this one kind of came out of the blue. You might need some time to think. But would anybody like to go first? What are three ways that you've seen God bless you in 2023? Oh, these are so hard. Um, sorry, and I feel like Steve told me that I need to talk directly into the mic and I feel like every time I raise this thing up it's like (laughs) um so okay Ah, I have so many things going through my head but first thing very personal um you know specific to me is that um been trying to kind of get to the bottom of some health issues that I've been experiencing over the past few years and uh, a good reminder for me a a good perspective change because I still haven't really gotten a lot of clarity on what's going on, but I think that that's my problem with this is that I keep forgetting that that is a good thing. Like there Mm -hmm. hasn't been like a big issue that has been identified, Mm -hmm. right? So um, I feel like health is one of the first things that come to mind for me. I've had like all sorts of crazy tests this year, uh, which has been a fun learning experience. I went to the hospital for like five days with EEG and it was like a prison sentence. But again, like that perspective change has been really good for me. So I feel like 
throughout the walk of going on this health journey this year, God's kind of showed me that one, like, I got you, you're healthy, I'm going to take care yeah. of you, like, you, don't worry, which, you know, I like to do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but then two, like, with that whole experience of just, like, keeping my perspectives opposite of what I typically default to, which mm-hmm. is, like, the negative yeah. <laughs> of things. So that's my first one. I'll let other people share while I noodle on others if, if we have time. Um, for me, uh, this May before I left, I, my niece was born like just before I left for Virginia. So a uh, major blessing being able to be there for that and get to meet that piece of my family and be able to meet her now uh, more fully as I'm back for a month. Uh, and uh, the I guess going to this new University I, I, at Liberty, having this community where I uh, have gotten very involved with the track and field team, uh, and they've kind of taken me in, and I, I have a lot of mentors there, so that's been a real blessing uh, to have that sort of community. Uh, and then I guess the third one is I have a roommate who I pretty much do everything with uh, now who has been a good men- good friend and mentor and like willing to call me out on things if I'm uh, not doing what I should be doing, like if I'm getting too stressed out about something and being like, hey, you need to slow down or something like that. So that's been a huge blessing to have down there, to have that kind of uh, relationship. So That's awesome. That's those, awesome. Those are great examples. Yes, those are. Mm-hmm. Would you like to go or do you want me to go? I can go. Okay. Um, my first one is having a healthy body. Mm-hmm. Um, I tore my, I think most people know this, that yeah. I tore my ACL last winter and had a reconstruction surgery and with that injury that's one of the longest recovery times Mm -hmm. you can have with an injury to the human body you know all about that yeah yeah. (laughs) um yeah so it it has been a very slow recovery and i'm at like the very end of it like we're kind of wrapping up pt for me my surgeon i had my last post-op appointment with him and he's like you can if you want can start slowly returning back to physical activity that's really cool. And just how, how much growth I've had in a year and just listening to my body and taking care of it. And I'm, I'm just very thankful for, for that, my health, Yeah. Mm-hmm. especially going through something like that. For sure. So that's one, two, um, the mindset shift, mindset shift that God has given me this year, just being able to take all of the adversity that is getting thrown mm-hmm. my way. Cause it's been a hard year for me in a lot of ways and just taking what life throws at me and rolling with it and not hyper fixating on all the negatives Mm -hmm. and just thanking God for giving me trust and peace in him, um, has been really cool. Yeah. And I feel like I can handle anything because, because of that, Mm -hmm. you know, um, and off of kind of side noting on that this year, um, God has, has kind of convicted me of a lot of crap that that I are it's hard to own. Like I've talked about this on the post show in the past like some sins are easier to own up to than others. Mm-hmm. All the sins that are hard for me to own up to, God has met me in that and is like you're going to own this and we're going to do something about this and fix it. Mm-hmm. And so that just with like the mindset and the God just kind of letting God work in me has been really cool cuz that's the only way when that we grow in life and we mm-hmm. do better as people is when we own our crap. Yeah. yeah. So that's been cool. And then my third one is the relationship with my dad hmm. in this past year, like just has been such a blessing just for the first time. Like I feel like him and I are tight and, Aww. and oh, that's, that's really awesome. cool. That is that. awesome. Yeah. That's really awesome. Yeah. It's honestly, that's probably my biggest blessing from this year. It's that's just, awesome. yeah. The relationship that I built with my dad. Yeah, yeah. gives awesome. me goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Um, for me, I have so many. I keep going back and forth on which ones I want to use. The first one, I got a dog. Her name is oh, Honey. Hey. Oh, she is a <laughs> big bundle of joy. She just brings so much life <laughs> into my house oh. because she never stops. <laughs> um, no, she's the best. Uh, she's a she's a golden doodle that has brown spots, so she's a party doodle. So mm. that's one. Um, <laughs> A second one, 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to say this one. At summer camp this year, we were able to bring about 25-ish students. Maybe a little bit more than that. I can't remember off the top of my head. But on the last day before we left, there were three girls that wanted to get baptized before we left. We called their families. All their families were able to come, and we baptized them right there. And yeah. like totally unexpected. wasn't even planned. It was something they brought up to me the night before. So that was an that was a huge blessing um, to be able to be a part of that and to witness that. It was it was really cool. And when the last one, God opened up all of these doors um, to, over the summer for me to go back and one, see my brother's graduation. But two, what he didn't tell me um, and he invited me to was that following Sunday. So he graduated on a Friday and that Sunday at his youth group. Um, he was sharing his testimony for the very first time on stage and he invited me to go and see that. And I have a picture of him sitting up on stage sharing his testimony. And that was like, as an older brother was one of the coolest things <laughs> mm-hmm. I've ever gotten to witness. Like oh, awesome. that was, yeah. it was so special and God definitely opened all the doors that'd be able to happen. So those are just three of, I mean, I could sit here and go on for hours, but yeah. Yeah. those were three that really stand out to me. Love so. those. Especially the last one. Yeah. That's so neat. It was so awesome. It makes me kind of think too when speaking uh, speaking on testimonies. I I think one of my I didn't say all three. <laughs> I'm still th- uh, kind of struggling on a third. But a second for me would be having the opportunity to lean into this post show, mm. yeah. Um, yeah, which isn't like something that I would naturally gravitate to. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't volunteer, <laughs> <laughs> but if I was asked, I would always mm-hmm. you know be open minded to it, and hence why I'm here. Um, but when we had the sermon or the message around, you know, abortions and mm-hmm. things like that, and I had the opportunity to share my testimony, um, I received a lot of wonderful um, feedback mm-hmm. and just words of encouragement. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's one of the main reasons why I try to lean into things like this mm-hmm. is because I feel like there's a reason why God wants me to be in certain scenarios. And sure. so I'm grateful for this opportunity, this is a blessing. And I think that that's a good example too, of where, um, being obedient to, to God and Steve, <laughs> just that <laughs> Steve. I blessed others with, you know, yeah. a story of mine. <laughs> so you're welcome Steve, <laughs> but it was, you know, it helps solidify mm. those moments when mm. you're like, uh, I don't really want to like go on a live yeah. YouTube. Right. Cause you know, it's just, not something that I would uh, to be intimidating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Um, but for yeah. sure. that's awesome. Thank you all for sharing. People watching online, if you're watching mm-hmm. live, you still have time to drop that in the comments. But also, the beautiful thing about technology is if you're not watching this live you, and you're watching a rerun on Facebook or on YouTube, you can still put it in the comments right now and we'll mm-hmm. see it. We'll be able to share it with the other people that watch it later on. If you're watching this on Apple Podcast or on Spotify Podcast, I encourage you to pull out a piece of paper and just write down at least three bless, at least three ways you've seen God bless you Hold um, up. You can year. You can listen to this as like a podcast? You can. Yeah. You can't. I think it's called. Uh, what? Oh, what is it called? Is it Get Connected? I think if you think if you typed in Get Connected, you will be able to find it. I yeah. had no idea. Yep. <laughs> yep. It has. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has the post show. Steve will quote me if I'm wrong. That's but it crazy. has the post show and it has the Q and A's from the midweek, so you'll be able okay. to go and listen yeah. to all this. Right on. So if you're listening to that in any way, I highly encourage you to do that. Um, it's always great to look back on your year and count all of the blessings yeah. um, that God has given you and giving him thanks. You know, by saying that, you just like crossed off a bucket list item of mine. I've always wanted to be on a podcast. <laughs> there you go. And I, didn't even know, I didn't even know that I was on one. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Awesome. That's awesome. And this is kind Another of like a live podcast, you. if you think about it. Yeah. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Anyways, and we'll not live because you can you can go on Spotify and yeah, all true. those other places yeah, yeah. and listen yeah. to it. Okay, so we just talked about some ways that we've seen God bless us a lot of it through our obedience to Him, um, but we all know we've all experienced it. Some of us have even shared it that it can be really hard at times to be obedient to God because maybe what He's asking us to do takes a lot more obedience than something else. Mm-hmm. Um, but what are some steps that we can take to increase? our obedience to God. It'll come up on the screen at some point, but that is the question. (laughs) There it is. is. So what are some steps we can take to increase our obedience to God? People watching, you can, you can answer all of Mm -hmm. these questions that we have coming up. So 
I think a big one is just being thankful for the moments where we've already been obedient. Mm. It's a very easy at times for us to be like focused on all the negatives going on that we're dealing yeah. with. But when we actually take a second and we're thankful for everything that God's done to bless our lives, mm. it, it kind of steers us in that direction because we're already aligned with that thought process. I like that. I like that too. To piggyback off of that, I would also say that remembering the times that mm-hmm. we were obedient too, yeah. because when we can remember like, man, I was obedient when God asked me to do this and look at what came from this. Like yeah. this one might be, I might have to give a little bit more obedience, but look at how God blessed that. I can only imagine what he's going to do through this. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, for sure. I like that. And what you said was something that I was thinking too of, of piggyback. You beat yeah. me to it. Um, another thing that comes to mind, uh, kind of like, when I try to like stay disciplined and working out, but I, when I try to do things like that, Mm -hmm. I'm like, I need an accountability buddy. Mm -hmm. So maybe something like that where you can lean on a friend or, um, family member, right. To, you know, be vulnerable and share with them what you're struggling with as far as, you know, something that's an example of, of how God wants you to be uh, obedient to him and having in like scheduled check-ins or whatnot or, Right. Just sure. sometimes when you have extra support, um, that can go a long way, at least for me, mm-hmm. um, because then I am not as much of a slacker because <laughs> no. I'm like, oh, someone's going to check me on yep. this. Right. So that sure. could be another. Yeah. It's example. a great step. Yeah. yeah. It's a great step. Any other steps come to mind? No, I'm just listening on this one. <laughs> I, I think like being OK with screwing up. Yeah. <laughs> Again, if you, if you want an accountability, accountability buddy that will let you know when um, they fail, <laughs> that would be me, <laughs> right? And, like, recognizing and being okay to, mm. to go to God and say, like, I messed up, right? Yeah. Like, I missed this opportunity, but I think that's what the, is, like, one of the most beautiful things about having a relationship with God is that it's never a permanent mess up. You're, yeah. You know, you always get your slate wiped clean and you can try again, and I know yeah. that God... We'll always put uh, future situations in place to yeah. allow you to have a future opportunity. It makes me think of this really silly kind of example. But one time, so I have like this coffee fetish. Like I love getting uh, <laughs> fancy coffees. It's a problem. You and like half of the world, Layla. Yes. Yeah, I'm say, I'm Chelsea really is the same yeah. way. So. Uh, and it was a couple of years ago, pre-COVID, because I was on my way to work. And I went to uh, one of the big, e- big B's by our, uh, where I work at. Mm-hmm. And there was a gentleman there that I was pretty sure he was homeless and he was just drinking water and I felt this prompting from God to like buy him something and I couldn't I I didn't do it and I don't know why like I couldn't get past I don't know I think it was like well what if he wasn't homeless and then I was going to like potentially insult him and I it ate at me I I went to work and I was like in tears because I'm like I didn't get him anything and I knew God wanted me to and it was just like a a moment where I felt like I deliberately yeah. did something that God, you know, I didn't do something that God wanted me to do. Um, I even like drove back. He wasn't there. Um, but there's been other times, like that's an example of situations yeah. where I have been able to have that exact same mm-hmm. prompting and I was able to lean into it. Right. So I say all that as I messed up and I'm like, God, I suck today. I'm sorry. Like, I don't, I don't know why I didn't do it, you know, but I, I got plenty of opportunities after that and continue to get opportunities to try yeah. to, you know what I mean? Do something sure. to make somebody else's day brighter. Yeah. So Absolutely. that ties right into one of my favorite things that Dave said today, that if we are unfaithful, God always remains faithful. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter how much you sin or mess up or don't listen to him. Mm-hmm. He's never going to stop being there for you and loving you. Yeah. yeah. Like he's always, yeah. always it's faithful. It's kind of like, uh, like can't comprehend that. Yep. Yeah. Right? I'm like, how? How are you that incredible? <laughs> yeah. For sure. All right, well, I'm going to give the pastor answer now. Um, yes. We can pray. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's we can pray for the courage and for the strength and for the endurance to stay obedient through the course of whatever God is asking us mm-hmm. to do. Absolutely. Um, and just ask him to replenish us. He renews our strength when we're weary and broken and tired. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's a very good answer. 
I think also another one is Dave talked about how obedience is not always equal. Like sometimes it's harder to do certain things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Being obedient in like the small things first, yeah. it's like a big like practicing yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, as a, yeah. like coach in my past, I, one of the things it gets easier the more you do it. So once you've gotten the yeah. muscle memory of like, oh, God asked me to do something, I'm just going to say yes. Mm-hmm. Like having that in there makes it so much easier. Yeah. Yep. I think that goes well with the earlier comment that you had shared too, where it's like recognizing the small things also. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Those, yeah. They're important. Yeah. Let's, let's actually focus more on those small things, on those single acts. How can we make sure we don't underestimate the power of a single act of obedience? What are some other steps, other things that we can remind ourselves of um, to not forget what just a small, simple little act of obedience can do because it's so easy to overlook? Yeah. I mean, I think the first thing that comes to mind for me is, again, we've talked about it already a little bit, but how it blesses others, mm. right? Recognizing that. Yeah. But, you know, even as I say that, though, sometimes I question, like, well, how would I know how my small act blessed somebody else? Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like I want to say that, but then I'm also like, how would you always get that? Yeah. You might not have situations where you can determine or see kind of like the domino effect. I don't um, think, I think most situations you can't see that. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, like it's so much yeah. bigger than us. Especially right yeah. away. Like right. a lot of the times if you, yeah. even if you do get the, the blessing of figuring out the blessings that mm-hmm. it poured out on other people, it might be a month, a year, yeah. 10 years, 20 years, might be in heaven. You like, see them get okay, there. Yeah. That's oh what it gosh. makes me think of. Like it gets me excited to go to heaven one day and for God to be like, Hey, look at what look at the yeah. effect that you had and then like it's just like pew 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 all these pictures of oh things that like happened yeah. in life and it's like i had no idea that by a simple act that i did it dominoed yeah. all yeah. the way over here like yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. cool to yeah. think yeah. about so maybe yeah. it's like remembering the concept of the domino effect and that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. small things and big things bless others like there is a bigger picture to it because yeah. i think we probably take that for granted yep. right yeah. so Maybe, obviously, like highlighting it when you do see it, when you get those wonderful opportunities, and when you don't, just recognizing that that is more than likely happening. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I have one. Recognizing it in other people, and not just like seeing it, but telling them, like, hey, I've seen, I saw you do this, or like, hey, Mm -hmm. you've impacted me in this way, or I see that you've impacted somebody in this way. Love that. Yeah, and just like encouraging other people, and just like noticing it more Mm -hmm. in your life. Encouragement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huge. Yeah, for sure. I mean, noticing it when it happens to you, like some simple act of someone went out of their way to do something for you. And you're like, oh, they didn't think it was that big. But we all have the moments where someone just said something kind to us. And you're like, I was having a terrible day. And that turned things around. So just recognizing how it has affected you can be a big thing. Absolutely. For sure. Um, Like for me, kind of piggyback off a domino effect, I can trace back like, everything that's happened in my life to one simple invite of going to this conference that my church held. Mm. And that's where I met Jesus and fell in love with him. And for that person, that was just something that they did. Yeah. Right? Just, hey, you want to come? Well, you don't have to pay for it. Come on. Yeah. And for me, like that changed my entire life. So just remembering that maybe for you, it might not seem like this big thing, but a simple church invite, which is why we talk about it so much here as a church is inviting people to church yeah. is that can literally change somebody's entire eternity. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so powerful. Yeah. Did you ever like loop back with the person who invited you? Yes. And, it was my yeah. youth pastor. Fun little story. We'll go off the sidetrack. <laughs> he said, you don't have to pay. And I said, ah, he's like, I'll buy you Chick-fil-A. And I said, deal. Oh. <laughs> so I accepted Jesus Chick-fil-A. and got Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's beautiful yeah you don't need to bribe me with chick-fil-a anymore whenever i was a <laughs> freshman in high school chick-fil-a was the way to my heart so. <laughs> i love yeah. that <laughs> yeah is there any other things that we could do to not underestimate a simple act of obedience honestly ch- sorry just before we go on to that honestly chick-fil-a is part of the reason that you you know have god in your life too so. yeah i know i feel like yeah, yeah you need to think that it's the Lord's CEO, chicken. Like, I, need a, I, need a, I need to go to that Chick Fil A and tell them to thank you. <laughs> I actually ended up working at that Chick Fil A later on. You so. did, you? yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's another fun fact about me. I worked at Chick Fil A for a few months. Yeah, so. I did not know that about you. Yep. So, yeah, I did. I it wasn't know why it's. It wasn't their the food most is good. so good. It wasn't the most enjoyable <laughs> so experience, but probably like a lot of butter. <laughs> probably. Yeah. We gotta talk afterwards. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you all the secrets. <laughs> all righty. Well. Go back, if you're watching online, 
pull out a piece of paper and just count all of your blessings that God has given you in 2023. It's a great way to be able to just reflect and thank God for what he has done in your life this year. If you have any questions about our message today um, or about anything in the Bible, you can go to my3c.org. You can go up to the top. There is a um, submit a question tab. It's totally anonymous, and we will be answering those questions on a future Q&A. Just so you know, this upcoming Wednesday will be our last Q&A for the rest of the year. We are going to take the Wednesday after Christmas and the Wednesday after New Year's off, but then we will be back full swing. I believe it's on January 10th to continue our Q&A all throughout 2024. So keep on submitting your questions throughout the time. We have our Christmas Eve services literally right around the corner on Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, we have a 2.30, 4 o'clock, and 5.30. And on Sunday morning, we have an 8.30, 10 o'clock, and 11.30 that we would love for you guys to tune into. Our 10 o'clock on Sunday morning is live streamed. We have a pre-show beforehand. We will have this post-show afterwards. So we hope that you guys join that if you are watching online. But we hope that you guys have a great rest of your week. We can't wait to see you all at one of our Christmas Eve services. Bye guys.